So it's another stunning day down on the northern rivers of Australia, down near Byron Bay. I was wondering why no, none of us had heard of the great Russian healer Porfiry Ivanov. Probably because he was in a psychiatric institution in Russia for 15 years. But despite that, still lived to 83. Healed a lot of people through natural healing. But we've all heard of Wim Hof, who's amazing. Inspired a lot of us to get back into the cold water. But for, before Wim Hof, there was Porfiry Ivanov. And uh, why did he end up in a psychiatric institution? Well, because he used to walk around Russia in the middle of winter wearing just a pair of trousers with no shirt and no shoes. So it was enough to get you locked up in those days. He used to drive around on the, standing on the front of a train in the middle of winter to show that he was fine with the cold. His whole idea of getting people better was getting back to the rhythms of nature. Surprise, surprise. Bare feet on the ground skin in the sun, tempering the body, he called it, tempering the body with the use of cold water. So I'm down today getting some sun on the beach, bare feet on the ground. And what's that doing for me? The first thing is if I'm gonna get out in the sun, I do have to protect my skin. And I use coconut oil for that. I used to put in some drops of raspberry seed oil as well. And I've used coconut oil on my skin. And one of the benefits of putting coconut oil on your skin is that it gives you a chance to, what we call in yoga and Ayurveda, doing a dinacharya or a daily routine. And what you're really doing though, is you're doing what's called abhayanga, which is a, a self massage with the oil. And one of the benefits of that is that you're moving lymphatic fluid around the body by doing a kind of lymphatic massage. And that's relevant because last week there was a revolutionary finding, a discovery about cancer, was that if the lymph, if cancer cells get released into the bloodstream, they get killed very quickly by iron in the bloodstream. But if they get released into the lymphatic tissue and they get held up in the lymph nodes. See, lymph tissue is meant to move, not get blocked. But of course we wear restrictive clothing now and don't do things like a Abayanga massage and don't move in it. So our lymph tissue, our lymph fluid gets end up getting stuck in the lymph nodes and stagnant. And what they've discovered with cancer cells is that when they get stuck in the lymph nodes, they end up, while they stop there for a while, they end up, they have enough time, they can put some coconut oil on themselves. They cover themselves with an oil, which means that when they do get released into the bloodstream, they're now resistant to being killed by the iron in the bloodstream. So, getting cancer cells into your lymph system is not a problem as long as it continues to move and doesn't get blocked. So, one of the things that we need to do is do things like an Abayanga massage, or get on the beach and do your own, put your coconut oil on, which then moves your lymphatic tissue around the body, not giving those cancer cells a chance to get covered in their own oil, which stops them being killed. So, Giving yourself a, a uh, putting coconut oil on your body, particular skin, is one of the benefits I get down from coming down the beach. Another benefit, really nice today. Another benefit is that I'm getting the sunlight. I do have my shirt on just for the sake of not getting some modesty while I'm on camera. As soon as I finish filming this, it's coming off. The sunlight. One of the benefits of getting the sunlight, of course, is that it helps. I'm getting, I'm getting the red light. And the red light, I'm not getting much now because it's midday, so there's, it's mainly blue light. But if I was out here earlier in the morning, I'm getting the red light. And the red light stimulates my mitochondria. And the mitochondria are very important for my immune system as well as giving me energy. In fact, there was a recent discovery showing that one of the reasons that bacteria become a successful infection in the body, the first thing they do is produce a chemical which basically poisons our mitochondria and mobilizes our mitochondria. If you mobilize the mitochondria, you're taking away the fuel system for the immune system. So keeping the mitochondria healthy with a red light is really important. 
The other thing that it does, of course, the red light in the morning is it gives me melatonin. Melatonin puts me to sleep at night. Melatonin is also good for my microbiome and my body. Melatonin is also very anti-cancer. And we know now that melatonin is really important in minimizing the cytokine storm that we get if we get a viral infection. The other thing the red light does is really good for my microbiome. Studies about six months ago showed that if you get your abdomen in the sunlight, the red light gets absorbed through the intestinal, through the gut wall, and stimulates the microbiome. And now the, the research on the microbiome, of course, we all know is extraordinary, but its role in health and brain health and mental health. Hello. And uh, the other thing, the interesting study that came out this week was that turmeric, which we've already thought, always thought as being, woo, it's a good score for today, hope to be a few more. Free lunch, good source of iodine for my immune system. So the red light on my abdomen, where was I? Improves my microbiome and turmeric, which we all know is super good for you. But one of the problems with turmeric is we've been told is that it doesn't get absorbed very well. But hello, research this week has shown that that's actually a good thing. Just like it's a good thing that Nilstat, the antifungal medication is not absorbed because it kills the candida in our gut. And why it's good that even like a chelating agent like EDTA is good, it doesn't get absorbed very well, but it's also good because when heavy metals get dumped into the gut, they stick on the EDTA. So it turns out that turmeric, some of it gets absorbed, the rest of it stays in the gut. But what the turmeric in the gut does, as I've just discovered, is that actually helps the microbiome. So nature's very clever. So it gives some to us for medicine, it gives, leaves some in the gut for us to improve and diversify our microbiome. And it's, it's lack of diversity of the microbiome, which is the main problem for most people in their microbiomes today. So let's have a look, what have we got so far? We've got, I'm giving myself an Abai Unger massage with coconut oil. I am getting red light for my mitochondria. I'm getting red light for my melatonin. I'm getting red light for my microbiome. In fact, not only is red light good for those things, it's now also being used in hospitals and cancer clinics where it's called photobiomodulation because we found the red light not only reduces the risk of side effects from chemotherapy and radiation, but also has a role in treating them afterwards. So medicine now is discovering the real benefits of red light therapy, what's called photobiomodulation. I'm also, if I was out here earlier, I'd be getting red light. I'm now getting, getting mainly blue light because the sun is high in the sky, it's a long way from the earth, so less of the blue light is being uh, deflected. And that blue light is stimulating my T cells in my skin, which boosts my immune system, which is very relevant at the moment. But also, what does the blue light come packaged with? Well, it comes packaged with lots of UV light, which gives me the vitamin D, which stimulates my immune system. It does lots of other things, but as we've discussed previously, that blue light that vitamin D, sorry, activates the cathelicidin in my macrophages of my immune system. My macrophages tear viruses apart and present those torn up parts of a virus to the rest of my immune system so I make antibodies to it, just like I was being vaccinated. It's nature's way of vaccinating itself, developing antibodies against a viral infection. So the blue light's giving me activated T cells. It's giving me vitamin D to turbocharge my macrophages and do a natural vaccination program. In fact, that's really where the research is going with conditions like multiple sclerosis, which seem to be much lower in areas of high sunlight. And we think now with the research showing that chronic viral infections, particularly Epstein-Barr virus, is involved in the neurological degeneration, that we're thinking that that's the association with the sunlight, that it's the vitamin D which is boosting the immune system and the cathelicidins in the T killer T cells, in the macrophages, which are lowering the body burden of Epstein-Barr virus in the body, which can persist in the body as a latent infection and cause neurological deterioration. So now, quick summary, I've got, I've got my Abba Younger massage, doing my lymphatic movements so my cancer cells don't get stuck in my 
lymph nodes. I've got red light, which is improving my microbiome, which is giving me melatonin, which is stimulating my mitochondria. I've got blue light, which is activating my T cells. And I've got vitamin D, which is improving the function of my macrophages. And I've also, of course, as I said at start, got, got uh, my bare feet on the ground, which in my opinion, and also the opinion of Porfiry Ivanov, who for the, after the age of 35 only ever wore trousers, didn't wear anything on his feet or his top. Have a look at some of the pictures in Google of Porfiry Ivanov. Is that I'm allowing, I'm grounding myself, which means electrons from the ground are coming to my body, but also it's allowing any non-native electromagnetic frequencies to pass through my body into the ground. Now I'd rather have no non-native electromagnetic frequencies passing through my body into the ground, but it's pretty hard to escape these days. So the fact that they can pass through me into the ground rather than hang around and cause calcification in my mitochondria is a good thing. All right, that's probably enough for today. I'm gonna go see if I can find some more kelp to powder up, dehydrate, sun dry and powder up. And then I'm gonna go swim, it's midwinter here. So the water's nice and cool. So again, and according to Porphyry, I'm gonna temper my body, temper it using nature to make it stronger and more resistant to disease. And uh, so thanks, Wim, thanks, Porphyry. And before them, thanks to the Vikings and the Native Americans who discovered the benefits of cold water thermogenesis. So, have a great day, everybody. Beautiful day. Hang in there.